Hi, this is Doug at Doug Knows Real Estate. Today I'm going to talk about some fees that are really not loan fees, not even title fees, but you'll see them on your closing statement, so I want to explain them to you, and that's the insurance and the taxes. Now, if you're paying cash for a house, you still want insurance, and that's something that uh, usually you buy for a year at a time. And then if you are paying cash for a house, you still got to pay taxes. So you want to know about the taxes, and I'm in California, so I'll be telling you how California taxes work. <clears throat> now, if you are buying and you're using a lender, but you're not impounding, impound means that the lender pays that payment for you every month. When you make your payment to the lender, they're also paying the taxes and paying the insurance. So that's a full impound, and sometimes you can only impound taxes or insurance, but the choice is yours a lot of times. Sometimes it's the lender's requirement. But I want to talk to you about, here's a customer who's buying and there's no impound. That customer will get insurance for a full year. And let's say that that customer buys March 22nd, right here. The end of that tax year is June 30th. That customer will pay the, the seller will pay the taxes from the start of the tax year, July 1st, to March 22nd, and then the buyer will pay the remainder until June 30th. And then I got an arrow because this leaps around. It's more of a circle than a straight line. So let me explain this to you. This is the California tax year. It begins July 1st and it ends June 30th. Halfway is December 31st. Now these taxes here, this six month segment, that's the first installment, they're due November 1st. They're delinquent December 10th. And then the second installment is due February 1st and delinquent April 10th. The way we learned that in real estate school is no darn fools allowed. November, December, February, and April. But those are the taxes to be paid. Now, if the person is buying and they're going to do an impound, now the title company will take a full year of insurance payments up front and maybe one or two more months to set up for the impound. And the person will pay from the taxes from here to here, plus they will pay an impound setup fee. And that changes every month. And I use uh, Paula Alves at Fidelity Title. She's the one who helps me with this a lot. So it depends on the month that the purchase, the home is purchased, depending on how much impounds are set up. Right now we're in March. It's going to be a two-month impound. It will be from here to here plus two months. In April, it'll be here to here plus three months. And sometimes, like in September, it's nine months. So these are big fees, and people think, whoa. How come I have to pay these? Well, they're taxes. They have nothing to do with the loan. They have nothing to do with, uh, with the title company. They're just taxes. And how much are the taxes in California? Let's say a purchase is $800,000. We use to start off one and a half, one and a quarter percent. So 10,000 times 0.012 is $10,000 divided by 12. Those taxes are $833.33 a month. If they're paid in six months increments, if you want to pay them yourself, then six and eight, you're going to pay like $4,900 every six months. Otherwise, you're going to pay this with your mortgage payment every month. So let me go over that again. The tax year is July to June, and the payments for this first section is November, and the payment for the second section is February. And the amount that you pay when you're buying is based on 0.0125. And the first time it's going to be an $800,000 purchase is going to be $833 a month. And that's going to be an impound set up. The title company will set it up. The money will go to the lender. The lender has the money in escrow, and the lender pays that money every six months to the, to the county. Okay? So I hope that explained it a little bit, but that's how the taxes work, and that's how the impound set up. Impound or no impound, you still got to pay taxes. You still got to pay insurance. I'm Doug Knows Real Estate. I hope I explained it better, but give me a call or push subscribe.